All right, Joe, here's, here's the video. There's the front of the trailer. The hitch. There's where all the uh, propane and hydraulics are. Levelers. Like I said, it ain't clean right now. That's the observation platform. As you can see, the railings are folded down. They all fold up. Makes it nice and safe. There is a ladder that I don't use. It goes on the exterior. Right back here, it hooks into that little uh, bracket. I use the interior one with the scuttle hole. I'm going to try to make this quick because it's going to be a big file. Aluminum wheels. Here's that one little den I was telling you about. There's a checkerboard vinyl I had put on. My old class numbers. Back of the trailer. That one little golf ball or softball, softball sized dent in the back. It's going to be kind of hard to get a pick here because it's close to the house. By the pool. <laughs> There's the automatic awning. Side doors. Wheels again. Cars are like brand new. This little bracket that the outside TV goes on. Alright, this will show you the uh, automatic awning. See, it's got the extension and these are the ramps extensions you can be on that that I was telling you about they're like 50 inch race ramps and composite they weigh like three pounds a piece of that pretty awesome and here's the interior of the trailer I do have uh, tire covers that go on here I just don't have them on at the time yeah, I have an idea of what we're looking at here. There's the length of the door. Lights. I do have one fluorescent light that's out. I guess it's all blue. 
down yonder. The helmet, uh, cabinet. I was always going to take and remove that one hook under there, put a light under the cabinet, and put a fold out uh, workbench there. It'd be pretty cool, but I never got to it. This area right here is a little scuffed up, that's why I had my uh, Projax. I'm sure that you'd probably want to put them right back there so you'd cover that up. And these are the fold down bunks. Everything in here is folded up. The last picture I know you saw, and everything folded down with the table in place. But they form right out of the way. You can see they're well within the uh, wheel wells. Here's the uh, table over the driver's side wall. It goes away. And that sits down in those. Uh, it's got two little pedestals. We're still away, they're hooking this one, the other one's under the carpet. Another pit bell cab, a couple of pit bell cabinets. Uh, another one over here on the door. Another one here for your hole. There's my sweetheart race car. I miss already. It's going to be at Darlington this weekend. The overhead cabinets. This is the gen set under here. Which the gen set is running and the air is on right now. And whoa, we're about out of gas. I still have my old tool cabinet behind here. And this is a catch all. It's got that Gen Terry exhaust I told you about that goes. Takes the generator exhaust over the roof. I usually keep all my fold up chairs and stuff in there. Oh, there's a ladder, I, there's the inside ladder I was telling you about. Now, that could be removed if you need a more interior room, but it doesn't. It's right in line with the, uh, with the wheel well, and it goes up in a scuttle hole, which is kind of nice. I like it to get up on the roof. We use that a lot. The kids love it, the wife loves it. And as we store them, you know, just, just the usual. <laughs> Another pit bell cabinet for the air bottles. Alright, man, I'm gonna take one. Uh, oh, there's one up there. Oh, this is that uh, mat that rolls out outside. It's brown. That's that commercial mat I was telling you about. It's really nice. It's like. Eight feet wide by 20 something feet long or 30 feet long. It's nice when you get there, it goes outside, so you don't try to crap on one side of the trailer. And there's a little deal we got here for if you have to take them back the trailer up, change a tire. Again, these uh, these tires are the expensive ones, man. These suckers are like 200 and something dollars a piece. They're the uh, RST six uh, G614. They're super heavy duty. Road, uh, load range G. Never been off, ne never been on the trailer. Still got all the bumps on. Alright, I'm gonna take a shut this off and do one more real quick one of the ramp door going up. And uh, that's what works out for me. Love to get rid of it and it'll go to somebody that'll get some good use out of it.